Man's Heritage and Man's Best Friend is the title of Badibo Oluwashe's first solo exhibition at Quintessence Gallery, Lagos. Some of my works, I paint them in Ala Prima at a sitting, just finish it all, and some take a, a period of time, a process. But I find uh, achieving my works in a swift manner interesting. As if you observe my works, you see swift strokes of palette knife on it. So I, I, I love bold stroke, bold colors, you know. And that's what I've, I've done with my works here in, in Synonyms. And what has he put out there? Portraits done with oil on canvas with the subject making faces. He has titled it appropriately because anyone can tell what each piece is about from looking at them. There are also two issues he's addressing and trying to find the missing link. We see works of art such as Baby's Rage, Daddy's Glasses, I Hear You. That's for the cute and cuddly children. I've heard a story about a Japanese dog, you know, who when the owner had died, still goes to visit the train station every evening for six years, hoping that one day the owner will come back. And that shows that dogs are loyal to, to us, you know, to a very great extent, no matter what. That ability, that value in them, to be able to stay by your side when you're sad, when you're happy, and remain there with you, is a very, is a very important value that we, in society as men, we need to, we need to walk up in ourselves and, and show. For the dogs, like Bruno, Lola, and Rex, their paintings speak louder than words. You can tell which one is happy, sad, or bored. I have a, a dog that my brother owns, now late Coco. You know, Coco goes by my side anytime, anything I do, you know, and she has the ability to read my mood also. This, you know, this inspires me as a person to just see the beauty and joy on their faces, you know, children and dogs. So that's how synonyms came about. Is the emotion the catch? Or is the artist just one who adores children? I'm inspired by children, by faces of children. The joy on their face, the ability for them, you know, to, to make life beautiful. Their innocence, their beauty, their patience. Yes, you could say they are, they are not self-sufficient. They could be selfish at times, demanding attention and, and the stuff like that. But their life is beautiful. Man's best friend also has some virtues that catches his eye. Probably a dog lover. It has been a product of my past experience with children and pets. You know, during, because of, uh, I've spent time with children. I've taught in two primary schools. Uh, in schools before, uh, before doing this, you know. So children have something about them that is fascinating. Their innocence, their beauty, you know, the value that they possess is very interesting. And dogs on the other side, they tend to be loyal personalities, as in loyal pets. You know, they are blessed to stay with you for a long time and they, they can read our mood. And both of them, they are not self-sufficient. They look up to man, you know, to care for them and cater for them. It seems galleries are trying to encourage young hands to get stronger and better by opening their doors for them to exhibit and go solo. His color texture and the way it, it does its work is very, very, very inspirational and very calm. If you look at the paintings, the faces, the way it takes time to make it come to, 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 to reality, it makes it so interesting. And to me, my own observation is his colors are very, 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 very interesting. He's a graduate of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ogbomosho, Oyo State, Southwest Nigeria. Still to come on Art House. Richardson exhibits his work of art at the Omenka Gallery. It's basically about my experience with spaces, um, how spaces, how, how people create space, especially a home, 
um, through external influences and how these external influences also, in the, all these influences from the home, we create um, the environment of the society. Then, Victor Epoch shares his experience after an art residency program with Art House Contemporary. I did not just from the literally people carrying things on their head, but also as a metaphor for a psychological state. Get all the details when you tune in next week. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Thank you so much for spending time with us and if you enjoyed our cruise through the wonderful world of the arts let's do it again next week shall we but in the meantime always remember keep the conversation going online i'm loving your messages i'm melinda kinlami have a lovely day <laughs>